Hello everyone from Chippen Computer Consulting. In this video, we will show you how to create a folder on the computer that automatically synced with the QNAP, as well as how to share it with users on the same network without a password. It means like a guest access. There is also a possibility of accessing this folder from outside the network. Accessing the folder and the ability to modify them and add files to the folder using your mobile phone also. Let's go to the computer to start the work. Now we are going to create folder on the QNAP and share it with others. So we start with accessing the QNAP by the IP, our QNAP IP is this one, and this is the one. After we enter the QNAP, we are going to add file, create folder. We it's called chicken one. Now we have our folder on the QNAP. The first thing is going to create folder on our local PC. Let's call it chip in one also. Now we have two folders one on the PC and the other on the QNAP and we have to connect these two folders together the connection is done by a tool called or application called QSync this is from our previous linking this is the first page of the application after you install it. We enter our IP. And I want to enter as an administrator first, administrator of the QNAP. Give the name of your laptop. This is the password of the admin administrator. Apply. Okay. Now we have to create the link between the two folders. Here we choose the folder on the QNAP. There's something very important here. When you first open and click add, this folder doesn't exist. Why? Because you have to go to the QNAP. to the QSync Center Shared Folders This option is very important because it gives the grant for the user's folder It's very important to enable because if it's off you can see the folder here After we open the folder we choose our folder that we created and here local folder we choose the folder in the disk and click apply now this is the connection we 
click finish and wait to see the connecting done so now if I go to the folder chip in one and let me add this file here in the chip in one and go to the QNAP chip in one I can find the file that I added also if I add a file here in the file station the folder it will be automatically add to the folder here now I will go to the control panel to enable something called guest access the guest access is to allow to others access specific folder by link I send it to them I send the link and they can access the file without password first thing I go to the control panel to the network network and surface win and back advanced option this option is enabled is tracked by default so I choose disable so now anyone can view the shared folder list guest account can access it so now if I send the link of the folder to anyone they can access it without password and they click apply now I have to go to the control panel also get back to the control panel let me minimize all this control panel shared folder from here and for the folder I work on it calls users file share folder permission I choose file share folder permission now I have the users here Vishnu, Fah and the administrator go to this and choose full access now if I choose full access everyone every guest I share the full the link with it with him can access the folder can create can delete can upload and do everything in this folder only and click apply now in the local network I finished all the configuration and it's like SharePoint we can use it for the users now we configured the link between two files in a local network but if we want to access this folder from an external network you have to do something called a cloud my QNAP e cloud we have to create a new account choose your name
click agree now confirmation email sent to your inbox check and click confirm log in with your email and password choose a device name We'll detect the name if it's okay or not. No, okay. Next, next, next. Choose the DDNS, enable this. Now, well, is done. <coughs> now, go back to your file station. Choose the file you are going to share. Click share. Link. Choose here the option from domain name, choose it. My cloud that the email you created, create now. Now it's all done. You can check the link and click it and send it to anyone you want and will have the access without add any password. After that configuration, what we did is first we created a folder in our PC and other folder on the QNAP and made connection between the two folders. So every change happened or every file I added on the PC, it will be automatically uploaded to the file in the QNAP. The first, the, the second uh, thing we did is make an account, cloud account, to allow to access this file from outside the network and now we are going to test this thing in my mobile phone absolutely it's out of that net network and there is also very important thing that we enable the guest access it means in the network any file we share to any user in the network can access this file without any password but from outside there is different thing first we have to download this app called QSync Pro choose the region Here we have add NAS manually or sign in QNAP. We have to sign in, in our cloud account.
now this is our QNAP and I can access it as I said from outside I have to enter a user I will enter in the administrator user uh, account now we are in the QNAP and this is our QNAP this one I can access the folder only the folder I give it the grant here's the folders so there is another application called QFile Pro let me show you from the beginning what's happened QFile Pro login QNAP Cloud enter your cloud account this is our QNAP also I have to enter the user username and the password so every user in this network can access in from this application this is the folders in the users here I can sh I can see that all, all, all the folders because I entered the administrator account users you can see from here you can add whatever you want let me take a photo like this picture okay choose the folder chip in one okay upload now I will go to the website to the QNAP also I will check my folder on the PC and the check if this picture is already in the app 